Hello and welcome to Emma Read Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Bella being a Bella. Had a boy fall on me on a ski slope and let him kiss me in front of a bunch of people. But what do we think? Was this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where 1982 throwaway1 posted this. What is the strangest thing you've seen that you cannot explain? When I worked in the medical field I had a dream one night about a patient of mine, a very kind elderly woman whom I visited once or twice a week. In the dream she came to me dancing and called out to me that she wasn't hurting anymore. I was so happy watching her dance after seeing her decline for years. When I got to work the next morning, I told my co-workers about the dream and later that morning we got the call from her daughter that she'd passed away the night before. I cannot explain that, but I am glad I told my co-workers about it before the call and not after, otherwise they'd never have believed me. Such a bizarre experience, but so wonderful to feel she was at peace. I once met this young homeless guy, probably about 10 years ago, acted like he knew me. When I said I had no idea who he was, he said, isn't your name Beardmonger and you work in radio broadcasting? I got right freaked out because I'd been applying to colleges for radio and there was no reason for him to know my name. I said, no, but I've wanted to work in radio. Who are you? He responded saying it wasn't important and to ignore him as sometimes he gets confused between the present and the future and just left. I never saw him again. It threw me off completely. I abandoned the idea to go into radio almost out of fear. So you didn't end up in radio which means you altered the future which means we are all living in an altered timeline which means 2020 is your fault. Thanks dick. I was having a sleepover at home with a friend from school. We were watching a film and suddenly the weirdest thought comes to me. Her dog has just passed. Obviously I cannot just blurt that out so I weirdly ask in the middle of the film, hey by the way how was your dog? She was quite surprised obviously. I had never met her dog and she doesn't talk much about it. She just mentioned she'd had one. She answered that he's aging but well. We moved on but I couldn't shake a weird feeling. Anyway, she goes home the next day and calls me after a while. She asked, why did you ask about my dog yesterday? How did you know? He passed away last night around the same time you asked about him. I was both shocked and unsurprised at the same time. I don't have an explanation. It seems like a weird coincidence since her dog was not something usually on my mind. It never happened to me again. Standing outside of a convenience store, I saw two different cars park, about a minute or so apart, and go in the store. It was obvious the two didn't know each other, at least it seemed. After shopping, they each left in each other's car. Still, can't explain it today without going down the CIA conspiracy route. OP chips in, very good chance this was a very large, nefarious deal. Drugs, guns, money, or humans in the trunk. And I responded with, or he just mixed up who got in whose car. Not sure this counts. I was in it, but wasn't happening to me. Pull into a fast food drive through in Odessa, Texas. My first time there. My turn at the speaker and I place my order. It's been a long drive, so I'm treating myself and being a little picky, asking nicely and building a customised meal. Cashier listens and says, Again? You ate all that already? Me, um, huh? Cashier, oh, I'm sorry. Someone who sounds just like you was just through here. Place the exact same order. Me, hey, cool. Weird, but cool. I get to the window and the girl looks at me with this exasperated expression, opens the window and says, It is you! Me, hmm? Cashier calls her manager over and points at me, shows him the order, says nothing. Manager, 
Welcome back. Was there a problem with your order? Me. No, I haven't gotten it yet. Manager, clearly confused. I made your order myself. Cashier points at time on receipt. Manager blinks and says, That's the same order. To her. Looks at me, back at her and says, And that's him. Cashier, I said the same thing. Both of them look genuinely upset and confused. It got worse when I told them that I'd never been in Odessa before. As the manager was handing me my food, he laughed and visibly relaxed. The other guy had long hair, explained, pointing to my cap, like halfway down his back. You have a twin, I guess, with the same kind of car. His face when I took off my hat and showed him my long hair. They might have been messing with me for fun. Shifts get along and people get creative. But if it was a game, they deserved careers in theatre because they looked terrified. Yes, I looked around for copies of my car or self while I was in town. Nada. I was driving one night in a really foul mood and speeding. Like, when I say speeding, I mean at least 25 over the limit. Anyway, this car gets behind me and for some reason I can tell it wasn't a cop. It was a full tinted Chevy truck with weird lights on. Like, comically large aftermarket front headlights. Once it got behind me, I got a really eerie feeling I can't explain. Like, my body just knew something was wrong. Anyway, I figured if it was a cop, they would light me up for speeding. But for some reason, they just kept pace with me, also speeding themselves. So at this point, I'm getting a little weirded out, so I turn off the freeway, and they follow me. I turn into a gas station and get out. I figure if I'm going to get axe murdered, at least the cameras will pick it up and give my family some closure. Something just didn't sit right with me. I knew something was up. As I'm getting out of my car, the truck rolls its windows down and what I saw still haunts me to this day. It was a heavily disfigured guy, the one likes of which I can compare to that guy Rocky Dennis from the movie about the guy with a crazy disfigured head who falls for that girl who loves him for him and not the abomination that is his face. And he starts to motion me with his finger, like telling me to come closer. I don't care if he was going to give me the winning Powerball numbers, there was no way in hell I was going to approach his car. I bolt inside the gas station. At this point, my whole body is shaking. I try and tell the clerk what's going on as they stare at me, probably thinking I'm drunk or high off my ass as my story doesn't make any sense. I go to look outside and the truck is gone. I still have nightmares to this day. Went hiking late at night with my buddy when something big and bright flew right over us above the tree line. It was so bright we couldn't even look at it and whatever it was, it didn't make a sound. Actually, it was probably the most quiet moment of my life. I remember saying, what the fuck? But no sound came out of my mouth. Only lasted a few seconds and it was over. I was half asleep and something grabbed my feet. I jumped up and seen a little girl run out of the room. My two dogs both looked at the little girl and watched her leave the room and looked at me as if to say, did you see that? then chased her down the stairs into the living room. I followed behind them when we got to the living room. There was no one there. The only explanation I have is I was still dreaming while awake. When I was in my 20s in the early 1990s, I had a car accident that kept me in hospital for about a year. It was a Catholic hospital and most of the nursing staff were nuns. And besides the normal checks, they regularly just stopped in to chat and see how I was doing. Early one morning there was a knock and this nun came in that I hadn't seen before and introduced herself as Sister Greta, a member of the nursing staff. She sat on the side of my bed and we spoke for a few minutes. Then she asked if she could say a prayer for me. She held my hand and said a prayer, then wished me well and left. About five minutes later there was another knock and one of the regular sisters came in to say hi. I remarked it was going to be a good day because I'd already had one visit from Sister Greta and now I was getting another one. She said there wasn't a Sister Greta on the staff and there was only two sisters around, it being so early. I pointed to the bed which clearly showed where she had been sitting and described her and the habit she had been wearing now getting a bit unnerved. 
The sister basically shrugged and bustled off. She came back about half an hour later with a book about the hospital's history and showed me a picture of some nuns from the 50s. Their habits were exactly the same as Sister Greta's that I'd described. Turns out that patients regularly mentioned talking to nuns in old garb that definitely weren't part of the current staff. I never saw her again or anything similar while I was there. Kind of freaky, but not overly disturbing. I can't really explain it, but I guess it's the sort of ghost story I'm okay with, if that's what it was. The strangest thing I ever saw was when my husband and I were living in some temporary accommodation and one night we were awoken by a loud crashing noise. We got up and looked out the window into the back garden. A couple of gardens down, there was a metallic object on fire at the back of the garden. There were no people about as it was the middle of the night. Don't know where it came from or what it was. We watched it for about five minutes and when we realised it wasn't in danger of setting anything around it on fire, we went back to bed. It was gone in the morning. What is the strangest thing you've ever seen? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who fell down and got kissed? It was... A drunk. Definitely drunk. I was in Val Torrens in France and everyone is just crazy young and dumb. It was literally the best week ever. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss anything from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.